How would you describe the situation on the ground for Afghans today living under Taliban rule? I can describe the situation. Well, first of all, it pains me to describe what's happening in Afghanistan and the struggle my people are going through. Uh, I would put it into three counts. First, repression. Women's rights, human rights, the rights of uh, journalists and media, political oppositions. It's all being repressed by the Taliban. And a lot of atrocities are happening, such as revenge killing. That's, ha that's been happening all over the country in the past two years. Second, uh, terrorism. Uh, Al-Qaeda is back in business. They, uh, they are not alone, but indeed there are 21 other terrorist groups that are given safe heaven under the umbrella of the Taliban and are being encouraged by the Taliban. Third, economy. The economy has collapsed. Uh, unemployment rate is at its highest. And uh, the majority of the country lives under the poverty line. It is one of the worst humanitarian crises of the century. And on top of that, my people have to live under the rule of a ruthless group called Taliban. And is there any opposition force or resistance to Taliban power on the ground today? Yes, we do have, uh, we formed the National uh, Resistance Council for the Salvation of Afghanistan. Uh, a council uh, that is formed by majority of the most influential political parties, leaders, uh, young men and women, civil society activists, uh, who have come together to form this council, to put pressure on the Taliban, uh, to change their policies, come back to the negotiation table, and solve the conflict of Afghanistan through negotiation before we enter any other cycle of violence. What do you think the future of Afghanistan's political, security, and social situation will be? If we let, if we give in to the Taliban, I see a, a country where will pre, where it will produce terrorists, extremists, and will be a danger to the regional countries and international uh, countries. So if we give in to the Taliban, we are going to experience another 9-11. But if we do not, if we stand by our values to respect the human rights, to bring justice in Afghanistan, to bring uh, to bring back the, the rights of the women, the freedom of speech, we should work hard. And uh, despite all the challenges, I see that uh, Afghanistan will change. Uh, the Taliban, a group, a minority group that, are, that is ruling the Afghanistan will not last long. Do you have a message for the U.S. President Joe Biden or even the former Afghan President Ashraf Ghani? Well, my message to them, um, to President Biden, is don't give in to the Taliban. Afghanistan people deserves better. And we, as the NRC, the council, we are the alternative. We have a vision for the country. We, we have a common values, human rights, women rights, the right to education, freedom of expression, and on top of that, we have a vision for the system of governance. We believe in a government that is uh, that the power is devoluted. It's, it's a dev devolution of power where the center, uh, the presidency, does not monopolize power, but rather it shares all the way down to provincial and district uh, district level.